Now, if you're studying for GCSE or A-level physics, you know that there are a huge amount of equations that you need to be familiar with. So what I've done is I've made some data sheets, equation sheets or formula sheets for you to have with you while you're learning this subject. So my name's Lewis, I'm from the YouTube channel Physics Online where I have over 1100 completely free to view videos. Uh, don't forget that you can subscribe to stay updated with the latest releases as well as finding everything that you need to over at either GCSE or A-level Physics Online where I've got everything organised by subject and by topic. But what I have here are my equation sheets. So I've got some which are specific to GCSE and they're suitable for these exam boards. I've got AQA, OCRA and OCRB, as well as Edexcel and Edexcel IGCSE. I've also got some which are A-level specific. This time I've got OCRA, AQA and Edexcel, and I will be adding to these as the time goes on. Now what I've tried to do is to get everything onto one side of paper. Now these ones here I've printed out onto A5 paper. You can actually buy these in my shop or your teachers can get a whole stack for all of your class. And these ones here can easily fit maybe into your exercise book. So as you're going through the course and you're maybe learning different bits of physics, you can have this stuck in the front cover to refer to as you're doing practice questions in class, maybe when you're doing homework or even remote learning. So that's the ones for GCSE. Again, you can do the same with A-level ones and maybe have these in the front of your folder and you might have a different folder for each teacher. I found actually it was best if you want to hole punch it, to hole punch it at the top so you're not missing any data. And this can easily fit into the front of your folder so you always know where it is. You can maybe have one at home on your desk. You might have one stuck in the toilet to, as you start to try and remember all of these equations. And what I've done for this one over here again is to try and get everything onto one side. Now you will be given uh, data formula and relationship booklets um, in the exam but these have information spread over many different pages. I just printed this one out in yellow so I know uh, where it is but you can see there's all of this information in a big booklet and all of that information is on this side here so that's easy to refer to. Now the other thing with these um, I've just got a few things to show you and you can buy the A5 version in my shop. Your teachers can actually buy hundreds of them um, again in my shop or they can email me at hello at physicsonline.com and I can send out all of these so maybe every student in year 9, year 10 and year 11 doing GCSEs has one in their books or everybody in your A-level class. But you can also download a digital version as well and I've got the links just beneath the video here. Now with that digital version you can just scan the QR code here and that takes you to the digital version or you can download it and maybe print out your own copy. So this one over here is my A4 version. You can also print them out really big if you wish. Um, we can go up to A3 as well. This one here is the Edexcel International A-Level, which is a digital only version because I can't afford to send these things all around the world. Now what I've got in these things are, I've got maybe some of the mathematical equations, I've got some of the data that you need to refer to. You don't have to remember this. And when I've got the equations, I've got the blue square in the corner, which just lets you know which kind of topic it's relevant to. So things which are blue tend to be forces in motion. Things which are in red are to do with electricity. Pink is for waves. Yellow is for nuclear physics. This pale blue here is to do with particles and gases. And I've got that for A-level as well as GCSE. Now the advantage in printing out one of these, um, especially in colour, is that it means that you can see which topics things are relevant to. And also for the GCSE sheets, um, if it's highlighted in this blue colour, that means it's for physics only, and that's if you're doing three GCSEs. It might be if you're doing the combined award, often called double or trilogy, then you don't need to know about the things which are highlighted in blue. Also, the sheets are suitable for foundation and higher tier students. Anything which is in bold is only for those doing the higher tier paper. So if you know that you're doing the foundation double award, then you could easily take your sheet and cross through the things that you don't need to be familiar with. You can also add your notes to it. So for example, I've written out the word equation here, density is mass over volume. You could put to the side that density is equal to mass over volume, or you could maybe start to think about what are the units. Density is measured in 
kilograms per cubic meter. So what you can also do is add your own notes as you're revising and learning the subject. And you can do the same at GCSE, or you can add notes to the A-level one. Also, you might notice with the A-level, I've only included a couple of mathematical equations, um, you know, Pythagoras, Sokotoa, and then the area and volume of a sphere. If you want to add any other mathematical things, perhaps with logs, whatever it might be, you can do that if you print out your own sheets. So this thing is designed to help you as you're learning either GCSE or A-level physics. It's just supposed to be something that you can keep in the front of your folder, you have in the front of your exercise book, so you can check which equations you might need as you're approaching different questions. And like I say, you can buy your own copies of the A5 version printed out in full colour all the way to the sides on some really nice thick paper. Um, you can buy these over at my physics online shop. And again, I've got the link beneath this video. Or if you'd like to have your whole school, your whole class having one of these given to you by your teacher, please get in contact with your teachers, ask them to buy from me. And uh, I realize I'm not actually making much money out of these. Most of the money is paying for the postage, but actually it's often cheaper than if your teachers were to print it out on the photocopier at school. But yeah, there we go. These are my data and formula equation sheets. And as time goes on, I'm going to be adding them for WJC, for CIE, for CCEA, and different exam boards as well. So thank you very much. Um, hope these are useful. If they are useful, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you.